called on you because they pray in this place. He said, Jerusalem, the place where your name is. If we are in the enemy's camp and you look toward Jerusalem and cry unto you in our trouble. He said, I want you to hear from heaven and I want you to heal our land. God, Solomon prayed with fervor. He prayed with diligence. He prayed in faith, believing God. He prayed so that the Bible says early in the chapter that when he had made an end of praying that the glory of God that the girls just sing about came into the room. The fire of God, the glory, the command, the Shekinah came in in response to the prayer that Solomon prayed. You, you can pray so till God will show up. Oh, you can pray until the glory of God comes to your own personal altar. You can pray till you can move God. You can pray until the heavens will open up even if the heavens are brass over your head. There was a prayer that will move God and make God work on your behalf. But our struggle and our challenge is folks don't want to pray. They don't want to take the time to discipline themselves in the face of God. But the Bible said that Solomon talked to God. He was specific in what he wanted God to do. You just can't tell God anything, but you got to pray so that God understands what it is you want him to do. You got to take some time and come out of yourself and just lay in the face of God. We have made prayer so Difficult. We have made prayer something up that you've got to go to a class to learn how to do. You've got to read books. You've got to spend five and six hours in seminars and conferences, honey. But you got to have a relationship with God in order to talk to him. You can't pray to somebody that you don't know. You can't talk to somebody that you don't have any confidence in. You cannot pray to a God that you don't love, you got to understand uh, that when I talk to God, uh, I believe there's an answer that's on the way. Because the Bible said, uh, he that cometh to God must believe that he is, uh, and that he's a reward uh, of them that diligently seek him. Uh, oh, Solomon prayed till the glory came in. Uh, he prayed till the Shekinah showed up. Uh, he prayed till he knew God had heard him. Uh, Sometimes the old covenant tells us uh, that folk talk to God to the degree uh, that the priest couldn't even stand the minister because uh, the glory of God had filled the house. Uh, they prayed to God stepped into that situation. Uh, they prayed to God stepped into their circumstance. Uh, and God said to Solomon, uh, oh, I've heard your prayer. Uh, you've reached me. Uh, you penetrated the atmosphere. Uh, you passed every demon uh, that tried to hold your prayer up. Uh, and Solomon, in response uh, to what you've asked me to do, uh, he said, I want you to know I will. Uh, I will. If you will. Uh, oh, I'll heal you. Uh, but you got to ask me. Uh, I'll open up heaven's windows. Uh, but you got to ask me. Uh, you just can't do nothing uh, and think I'm just going to show up because I don't have nothing better to do. Uh, he said, But I'm waiting on you. Uh, Jesus said you have not because you ask not. You're still sick because you're not praying. You're broke because you're not praying. You're despondent because you're not praying. But God said if you want me to move, I need you to do something. You know when we were kids, when we were in a fight, and somebody sold your wolf tickets, and they put your back up against the wall, and you said I'm going to wear you down. I'm going to beat your butt. They said, oh yeah, well I want you to go first. Oh hallelujah, you want to stop this fight? You go first. You want the war going on? You go first. Well God said tonight, if you want him to move, you go first. If you want deliverance, you go first. If you want some money in your bank account, God said you go first. He said I can already heal. I'm a healer. I know I'm a deliverer. I know I'm a way maker. Whatever you want me to do. He said, I will if you will. When the last time God heard from you. When the last time you said, our Father, with God in heaven. When the last time you went to the presence of God and said, oh God, I need your help. One thing I like about prayer. 
grant. You don't have to be wonderful. Oh, great and mighty strong power. Oh, thou who dwellest among the cherubim. Sometimes I don't have time to be deep and wonderful. All I can do is Jesus. I need your help. Jesus, I'm in trouble. Jesus, my blood pressure's up. Jesus, I got bad heart. You can't always learn things what you learned in the class. But you got to understand, God's not looking for deep prayers. He's not looking for wonders. All God wants is somebody that recognizes I'm going back to that same store where they told me no yesterday. But God is your word. I'm going back today. And I want you to do something. All folks said it good. Father, I'll stretch my hands to you. No other help. I know I'm coming because you're the only one who can answer my cry. God said, what is it that you need? If you ask me, I'll do it and shall not go. A thing is only that which crying to hear. Luke chapter 18. Day and night, do we bear it all with it? You got to pray till the smoke comes in the room. You got to pray till the fire falls. You got to pray for the glory to show up. You got to pray till the shaking in the house. You got to pray that there's a rumbling. You got to pray till the tumors dry up. You got to pray till your bank account is filled. You got to pray. Can your children get saved? You got to pray. Can your husband come back home? Tell somebody, God will, if you will, open your mouth. You can't be quiet. Open your mouth. Tell them what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. They said, if you want your body healed, Tell him what you want. If you want the soul saved, tell him what you want. God will, if you will, and I urge him, he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And he's a water. Somebody shout. The water. The water. Yeah. <laughs> 